In this video, we're going to be covering the initial setup process for the PBR Painter add-on for Blender. So once you purchase the add-on, you should have a zip file that you can download that looks something like this. And you just need to save that somewhere where you can find it later within Blender. Once you have that file inside of Blender, we can go to Edit Preferences, and then you just need to select Add-ons on the left. Now, depending on whether you're using Blender 4 or earlier versions of Blender, this interface here is going to look a little bit different. So I'm using Blender 4 in this case, but if you're using earlier versions of Blender, it's going to look something like this. And in this version, I need to click this little arrow up here and then select Install from Disk. In previous versions of Blender, you will click the Install button at the top of the window. Now you just need to navigate to wherever you save that file. Then you need to select it. You have some extra settings over here within Blender. So in this case, it's going to enable the add-on when I install it. And then you just need to click install from disk. Now, depending on whether you have that setting turned on, it may either automatically enable it, but if not, you just need to tick this box to enable the add-on. Now I'm gonna open up the preferences like this. And the first thing you'll need to do when you first set up PBR Painter is you need to load the PBR Painter workspace. And that's going to give you a little hint to save the startup file after you load it, because otherwise this workspace won't be saved every time you open Blender. So once you load that workspace, you can have a look up the top. You have a PBR Painter workspace in here now, and this is going to be the main UI that you use while working with PBR Painter. Now I'm going to explain that UI in the next video, but just before I finish up this video, I'm going to go through a couple of important preferences in here. Now, there are a lot of preferences and they will be explained later on. But for now, I'm going to go through these first two here. So the first one is turned off by default. And what it does is it lets you basically show the entire PBR Painter UI within the sidebar or the end panel in here. So if I turn that on, what you'll see is it now has everything in the add-on will come up within this end panel. The reason this is off is because this specific workspace is laid out so that you can use these different panels on the sides like this. The other setting in here is basically hiding the PBR Painter UI when you're in other workspaces. Basically this part of the UI in here is appearing in the tools, in the properties, and this is so that this only appears when you're within the PBR Painter workspace. But again you can turn that off and then this will appear everywhere. Once you've imported the PBR Painter workspace, just remember that in order to keep this workspace every time you open Blender, you actually have to save new defaults for your startup file. So to do that, we need to go to File, Defaults, Save Startup File. Now remember, whatever you save in here is going to be the default. So make sure that everything else is exactly as you would like for your default startup file. So now that that's saved, when we go File, New, you'll see that we now have this PBR Painter workspace already loaded. Okay, that's it for this video. As I mentioned in the next video, we're going to be looking at the UI in more detail. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.